Okay, students, uh, here we go with the um, Gregory Crutzen assignment for getting that atmospheric uh, cinematic look in your photo. So I started with this photo that was kind of taken in very low light and it was kind of that twilight feel to it. Um, so, um, this is what you would want, something that doesn't have a lot of sun in it for this assignment. I don't, wouldn't want to see a blaring blast of light on it. Uh, I'm going to come over to the layers panel and I'm going to duplicate this layer. You can just right click and say duplicate layer or you can press uh, command J or Control Alt J on your Chromebook and say OK. And from there, I'm going to um, add some blur. I'm going to go up to Filter and go to Blur. And when the other page opens, I'm going to go down to Gaussian Blur. And for this one, I'm going to add about 30. 30 pixels of blur. I'm going to hit OK. I'm then going to go up to Image, go to Adjustments, and Brightness Contrast. And I'm going to raise this up to 40. And I'm going to do the same for the brightness and the contrast. And I'm going to hit OK. So I have this background copy layer with two adjustments on it. I, I am then going to go over to the opacity and click on that, open up that slider and drag it down somewhere between 20 and 30 in that range. It may depend on your photo, how well it's focused. I'm going to go with 25 for this one. 25%. Okay, uh, if I click this on and off, you'll see it's just very slight in those differences. I am now going to add a layer mask. So I go down to this icon, looks like the old television set, and click on that. And I want to make this black so I could paint it, brush it out um, using a brush. So I'm going to go up to Image, Adjustments, and slide over down to Invert, and click on that. And you'll see it's made my layer mask black. And I'm going to come over and check my foreground in my Layers or Tools panel. Um, and I want to have white. Remember, if the mask is black and you're going to paint with a brush to erase, you want to have that foreground, the opposite white. If my layer mask was white, I would have certainly have this black to erase. Okay, uh, let me grab a brush. I can check it up in the options bar. I want my hardness to zero. And you can just use a general brush for this. You can use a soft round pressure size or just a soft round. I'll try the soft round pressure size for this. And I'm just going to go over um, some of the light parts that I see where this light is hitting the street here. And on this side too, I'm just brushing it out a little bit. And it's not a lot of difference right now, but it's everything in this project is subtlety. I'm going to come up to this wall and paint a little bit of this here. If I had these lights on, which I didn't, but there's one over here, I'm just going to make my brush a little bit smaller for that and I'm just going to click on that light to add some luminosity to that. Uh, up in the sky, uh, 
I can do that as well. I'm going to grab some of these light parts here. And here, 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 here. Wherever I see some light coming through, I'm going to kind of brush away that filter. And it's, again, it's about the subtlety of this. And when we add our uh, other layers, this will come into effect more than it is right now. Okay, uh, once I'm happy with that, I'm going to come down here and add an adjustment layer. And I come down to the half moon, click on that, and I'm going to come up to color lookup. And then we have a new layer that says color lookup one. I'm going to come up to here and the properties panel. I'm going to click on right now it has 3D LUT file. I want to click on this abstract and it might pull up a search on your computer. You can just cancel that. And when it, with that selected, I'm going to click on this little lever on the right and open up and go to this blue tone. And you'll see it adds this kind of uh, blue filter over my photo. And with that, I am now going to uh, bring in some of the highlights of the background layer. I'm going to change, I clicked on my background layer. I'm going to change the blend mode to color dodge. And then I'm going to go back to my top layer. Now you're not restricted to doing that uh, on that layer as I just did. You can choose your own. If you just want a soft overlay on it, that's fine. If you want a hard light or maybe soft light, that's fine as well. It'll depend on your photo. You can just check and look at them all. Wow. You can see where I painted it on that hard mix. But I'm just going to go color dodge. I'm going to click back on my color lookup and I am going to double click on that. And as I double click on that, you'll see here in the bottom, it says this layer and then it says underlying layer. I want to bring in those tones and lightness of the bottom layer. So I'm going to grab this lever on the right, the lightness and just drag it over to the left. And you see that in my photo, um, it's really kind of messing it up in a way. And you're seeing all those uh, lightness really get enhanced. As I get about right here, I'm going to hold down my Option key on my Mac. And I believe it's the Control key on your if you're using a Chromebook. And I just hold that down and I can separate those two. See how they separated? Uh, it's pulling this all the way to the left. And then I'm going to come back. I can let go of that Alt key or Control key. And I can just drag this back to where it was. And I hit OK. And that's where I'm at. If I click that on and off, you'll see it has that blue tone, but it came back and got some of those nice natural highlights from the layer below it. So again, it's very subtle, but it does have that blue kind of tone to it. Okay, I'm almost done. And on the way out the door, I'm just gonna add one more adjustment. I'm gonna add a curves. And I'm gonna click, click two points on my curves line. I'm gonna drag this bottom one down, bringing out some of the dark tones shadows and then I'm gonna drag this one up a little bit and kind of get that S shape in here and there I'm pretty happy with that and I'm gonna go with that I'll file save as and I'll save as both a 
JPEG and a PSD Photoshop document file. I think you guys, uh, I think you guys have got that down by by now. Photoshop and JPEG. All right, and that's the Crudson, Gregory Crudson assignment tutorial.